Welcome to Law Firm Fixers with yet another episode with the Peanut Gallery. And we're here to talk to you today about uh, holiday-related marketing for your firm. And as always, I'm joined with Ross Yellen, Managing Director, and the esteemable Jeannie Lutz, who knows a little about everything. And so we're going to kick it off today. And I'm going to uh, maybe kick it off to, who should I pick today? Jeannie. Jeannie's looking festive in the holiday season with lots of little uh, tchotchkes in the background there. So first of all, tell us what is behind you, and then tell us a little bit about holiday marketing. I think I see a Christmas goose. You see a Christmas goose, loads of Santas, and even a Christmas alligator. I thought there's only one Santa, though. Uh, nope, nope, never, never. Remember, we can all be Santas, and that's actually probably a really good thing to think about when uh, you're thinking about holiday opportunities. Um, consider all of the people that you work with, your clients, your referrers. Give them little gifts for Christmas. For the holidays, it's a fantastic way. It doesn't have to cost you a lot of money, a lot of money, but it certainly, certainly will bring back return that you could never imagine. Being personal, being honest, telling people how you feel about them and how much you value. Do you want to tell people how you feel about them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that yeah, that's yeah. Good. Je Jeannie, I don't want a gift from you because it's it's <laughs> that's exactly what I mean. I'm like Raj, Raj, <laughs> if I I could give you a real gift, Raj. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't open a package from Jeannie. That's the lesson of today's episode. Definitely the definitely a good option. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe a, a Christmas the pot there. But, but, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it'll be a dead Christmas goose missing its head or something. It's it's going to be a mess. I can't decide. I don't know <laughs> if this is a New England thing or just maybe an old fashioned thing, which I guess kind of in part makes it a New England thing. The lump of coal. Is, is that, yeah. that right? <laughs> I, I think that's made it all the way across the country here to the West Coast as well. So there you go. <laughs> so I guess if, if you really wanted to tell people how you feel, you know, you could give them a lump yeah, of coal. Exactly. Not, not suggested in a services business, but hey, it's your business. <laughs> yeah, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also think actually if you want to get really creative and you want to make it really personal, um, you know, avoiding the, uh, the, the sentiments that we're talking about here, but I think a really creative way that, uh, that you know, we're recommending to our clients this year um, is everyone has this right here, a, 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 a Zoom license, um, a webcam, you know, something really easy that they're using every single day likely, hit record. Hit record, send a, send a personal, you know, a personal message, send a, you know, a wide reaching message. It can be literally one-to-one -one messaging, or you can send a broad message to all of your clients. You know, we're so appreciative uh, of your continued support and business, um, you know, in what's been a really tough year, we've been able to support clients across X, Y, and Z, you know, different facets of, of your practice. Um, it's a really, really great way to show people your face that they're probably not seeing much these days. Um, and we've seen, you know, open rates on, on that type of engagement just skyrocketing this year because people crave interaction. And at the end of the day, you know, what's it all about? I hate to break it down to this, but it's all about money, right? And we want to make more of it. And how do we do that? You know, we stay top of mind, we stay relevant, and it's a really great way of, you know, showcasing yourself at the end of the day, people by people. Um, you know, so how do you become, you know, a, a person as opposed to text on a page? Well, show your face. Yeah. Even yeah, if it and, is a little scruffy. <laughs> and, and, and you, exactly. And, and you know what this is really all about? It's about, um, and it's about an old adage in marketing, which is you want to enter the conversation already going on in the prospect's mind, right? What's going on in everyone's mind? It's like, well, let's say first is 2020 over yet? Uh, and also it's a, it's a holiday season. So they're starting to turn inwards towards family and, and think about those things. That's what's going on in their mind. So as you become a part of that, this is not the time for a hard sale. This is the time to acknowledge a common and shared experience. And that's what that's about. So a uh, Ross, fantastic um, notion about using video, which we're using here today, right? But using video on a one-on-one, -on -one, but you, you can also hear do that? this. Yeah. I got kudos from Raj. It happened. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Would you like to chalk it up as the first one on, on first your one of 2020. There? First one of 2020. 12 months in, you get your first one. Yes. Uh, yes. But also consider doing it on LinkedIn. 
a post, maybe a little video on LinkedIn, thanking people for a, a great year and what some of the things that you've done. Uh, this will be a challenge. We'll see if if anyone is willing to accept that challenge and put that out there, because it's a perfect way to get exposure to a broad audience and show that you're a real human being. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think on, on the LinkedIn front too, if there's, you know, some, some work connections that you're, you're, maybe it's the person in the office next door that you used to, you know, have coffee with, with every day, you know, you used to walk into the elevator every morning tag them in, in the video, tag them in the comment. And you know what that does? It exposes that video to their entire audience as well. Tag them in the comment, engage them, you know, make it something that people want to engage with, engage with, make it fun, you know, kind of like, like we have a lot of fun here if you haven't noticed, uh, but make it fun, make it engaging, make it personal. You know, don't feel like you have to, you know, put on the, the suit and tie. We're working from home. Unless you're in front of a judge these days, are you really putting on a suit and tie every day? Uh, I, I put on red today to, to be festive for the video. That's. <laughs> and what about holly, holiday gifts? Are they appropriate this year? Um, are they, you know, how helpful are they? I mean, I can remember back over the years and I remember some really, really personalized holiday gifts that I, I mean, 20 years later, I still have and absolutely adore and bring back such fond memories of our relationship. So just wondering what you guys think about that. Yeah, I, I, you know, over the years have, you know, when I had a firm, definitely we would, uh, we would send chocolates every single year. And it was not just any old chocolate. It was a local chocolate made by a local San Francisco artisan chocolate craziness. Uh, so it really gave a flavor for where we are. And we would ship these all around the country for, to, to our clients. And it was not super expensive, but the presentation was just right. And we put a lot of thought into how do you present it and getting a custom insert printed with, with the, the firm name and, and some greetings and wishes. And we'd send them all around the country and people would just uh, ask for more next year. It was like, oh, you know, I know I'm working with you, but so-and-so in this other department wanted another one. So uh, it, it became a, a talked about and looked forward to thing. I think that it, that's a fantastic way to do it. Would you say they ate it up? <laughs> you had to go there. It was so easy. <laughs> right up. Come on. I know, exactly. This is the layup. <laughs> it was so easy. No, but I think, I mean, I, I couldn't agree more. It's, it's the perfect idea. The only thing that I would, that I would, uh, I guess, caution might not be the right word, but caution folks uh, to this year is when and if you are sending physical gifts, be mindful of where people might be. So ask for current addresses because oftentimes people aren't at their office these days. Um, so if there's a specific, per you know, if you're sending to office wide, uh, send a larger gift that, you know, can, can cater to the whole office. Um, but if you're sending, you know, to individuals, you may want to ask for, for a home address this year and just be mindful that uh, mail at the office is not uh, a daily occurrence these days. It's probably like a weekly check-in. Right. And, and one other item of caution, um, which is a lot of folks uh, think about sending wine. Um, and there's a couple things to be aware of. Uh, there are a surprising number of people who uh, don't drink. And so, uh, you know, you might not be aware of it. And you're sending wine out there. There's some people who've had issues with alcohol and things. And especially, as you know, in the legal profession, it's, it's, a, it's a very big issue. So you might want to reconsider that. It also, just from a purely logistical standpoint, requires a signature when you're shipping. And if you ship to the wrong place and someone isn't there. So mm. cons reconsider alcohol as a gift. I'm not saying that if it's not right for somebody. So for instance, when I had a referral from somebody and I wanted to thank them at the end of the year, and I knew because I uh, you know, was Facebook friends with them that they were enjoying a, a great glass of Barolo at some point, that's like, okay, wine's a good, you know, good for that person. But as a blanket gift, just consider the appropriateness of that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think those are some good holiday tips. Um, mm -hmm. On the drinking note, Jeannie's going to give me a tip on eggnog because that's not something I think I've had it <laughs> once in my life. So <laughs> Jeannie's going to give me some tips on how to do that, right? Because I don't think I ever have. Um, but I think that sounds like a, a, a great a great place uh, for us to stop, but for you know everyone watching to to start. Um, so put some thought into it, and uh, most importantly, act fast. Uh, delivery timelines are a bit delayed this year. So people won't be uh, surprised if anything comes late, but uh, the sooner the better on this one. Exactly. 
All right. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining and see you next time.